All right, guys, we're going to run the temperature gun on here. We just ran the small battery, so I'm going to go ahead and put my laser on it and see what we got. 104, 105, 101. That's staying pretty cool, man. I'm not going to lie. Let's see here. Run that one more time on there. Just coming at 94. It didn't even get hot. That's awesome. That fan is really doing a good job. So we just ran. What batteries did you have in there? 10,511 ones. And we are putting the 14 ones in there now, right? 14.8. 14.8. Thank God. So we're going from 22 volts to 29.6. All right. You guys see that aluminum upgrade all the way across. It's beautiful. <laughs> Shut up and sit down. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. Jesus. That is the ADAS. All this kitty stuff. Up and over. See a black hat? He's <laughs> gonna stop it. <laughs> Shut up and sit down. You having fun yet? You having fun? You having fun? You having fun? Shut up. <laughs> We've got spectators. <laughs> Don't ever stand behind it when it takes off. Yep, yep, I'm getting out of the way here, man. Jeez, man. That's the uh, 8S there, guys. That's the 6S upgrade with the 8S kit and the aluminum upgrade kit. That thing is serious. We're, we're using a little throttle control here today. Yeah, because you got to immediately go into the turn, yep. Bam! Uh oh. It looks nothing. <laughs> hey guys, that is a good reason to have aluminum because it would have snapped if you had plastic A arms. You can see we're a bit on the aluminum.
Yeah. Somebody out here that wanted to show me this beast. Actually, I wanted to see it. I invited him out here to show me this thing, but we're not going to put him on camera. But uh, this is a built project that he made. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! It is so fast. Yeah, yeah, you can bring her down. Yeah, keep testing fate. Have you done any tuning to it? A little bit, but I've got to. I just changed my roll rate yesterday. Uh huh. So beta play is still like a little bit tricky. Wow. Oops. <laughs> this is a 4S with what, 2200 KV? Right? 2300. 2300 KV. Wow, man, this is awesome. Holy Christ. Whew. I know, look. See, I'm out here with Ross. Ross came to see me. He's looking at it. Yep. looking I at a bird. I can take the receiver out of the case, but there's really no point because the wires yeah. are kind of. We got a few people to show up today, man. It's uh, it wasn't too bad. We bashed around the X Max, I'm trying to get uh, Morris is in there looking at parts right now. But uh, yeah, Ross showed up. Uh, Ron showed up. His wife. I had a couple guys come in to look at some stuff around here. Then we had the police show up. That was fun. Um, but I'm trying to get him back out there again so we can bash the X Max again. But um, we had to replace a shock tower because the plastic piece on the shock tower broke when it hit the tree. So you can still break parts. So if you're going to do that, I would suggest the aluminum shock upgrade too, as well. Not just the A arms and the steering. But um, yeah, I'll see you guys in a sec, man. Ross is going to hang out. We're going to talk a little bit. I'll see you guys in a bit. So Ross here came out to visit. Where'd you come from? South Tampa. South Tampa. And you By came myself, here, yeah. just just came to chat, hang out for the day, yeah? Absolutely. Good times, man. We got a few people here today. That's awesome. As you can see, we're out here kicking the crap out of the uh, Monster oh, yeah. X-Max here with the aluminum upgrades. And uh, it is running uh, 8S. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is was originally a 6S that got upgraded to an 8S. And um, so this is, everybody's been asking for this video. Here we are. It's... <laughs> We're putting it out for you. Wow. <laughs> it will take the grass out of your yard. What's your total run time on this? I don't know. We've been running for about a half an hour so far. Great. It runs like for next to ever on these batteries. It's hard to control with this much power. I was going to say, with the with the other batteries you had in there, it wasn't pulling wheelies like this one is. This one's oh, pulling wheel stands left and right. On 22 volts, it's a real tame animal. And on these two 14 eighths, it's almost too much power. <laughs> it's very difficult to drive. Right. Unless you've got real good finger control. Throttle control, guys. Finger yeah. control. Finger control. <laughs> Don't get trigger happy. <laughs> Go so fast off road. Oh, yeah. Nice. Sexy and I know it. Well, guys, I just got home from a long day at Morris. I had an excellent time. A few people from YouTube showed up. Some of my personal friends came by to see what was going on. Excellent day. I had a whole bunch of stuff go down. We're actually going to talk about some of that right now. Um, so I had the Hubson H502E, which you guys know I turned FPV and got extreme range out of it. I think we ended up pushing it almost to 500 meters with still having FPV, which was insane. Um, I did the 350 and never got around to the chance of actually recording the 500 meters, but my 502E did make it 500 meters. Um, but, you know, it just it was sitting on the shelf. It was just more of a toy than anything. And uh, so I put it on Craigslist for trade or, or sale, and uh, I put the FPV goggles on there with the G-Tang watch, and I ended up coming across this trade. Um, as you guys know, I was looking into the uh, the King Kong Smart 100 carbon fiber frame. This I've never been able to manage to get to work. It doesn't want to communicate with my computer. It's just all sorts of problems. Andrew, uh, a buddy of mine on YouTube, is going to go ahead and take a look at this, and I'm going to give it to him. I just told him he can have it. Uh, if he gets it flying, then we'll do a review on it and how it works, but I just told him I'm, I'm done messing with it. So that's what happened with the King Kong Smart 100. So <laughs> what we've done here, as you guys remember, I had my 007 VR, uh, Yusheen VR 007 goggles that I modified. Uh, I went ahead and traded all of that 
the entire, I'll, I'll put a picture up here on the left so you guys can see what I traded. Um, I went ahead and traded all of that uh, for this, which is the Latrax alias. If you guys know, this also flies and it has like certain single, simple forms of acro flips backwards. Uh, it uh, can do front flips, back flips, and barrel rolls. Um, came with three batteries. One of these batteries has been modified with an extra wire for the EF01 FPV cam. And uh, then I traded my other Ishin goggles for these goggles. And uh, so we have the Latrax alias now. Um, and I know that it has some problems. I can see it's scraped. The blades are really scraped up and the gears are a little chewed, but they do. it does fly. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and just replace the gears and uh, put some new props on here, get it balanced, get this thing working properly. Um, and uh, we'll start learning how to do some sport mode FPV flying with this, that camera, and these goggles. And uh, kind of get the feel for it. I've seen a lot of Latrax aliases turn into FPV race quads, and they're actually pretty fast, surprisingly. So I decided, what the heck, man. When he said he was going to trade for it, we did that. So anyways, guys, that's what's uh, in store. I'm still waiting on my big boy toy to come. I do have a large drone. I, some of you know what it is. Some of you are on the Facebook groups and the cat's kind of out of the bag, but you know, it uh, should be here. It said shipping time, February 24th. I should have my new very large bird with 10 inch blades and uh, should, be, should be a lot of fun. So, but anyways, guys, drone worship, I'm shutting it down for the day. I'm exhausted. I'm gonna grab something to eat and then I'm probably just gonna pass out and sleep for the rest of the night. So I had a great day off. Ross, thank you for coming out. Andrew, the other people that did show up, Ron, his family, that was really cool, man. So we did get some YouTubers and I uh, got some decent footage. So I hope you guys enjoyed drone worship. That was the ADAS X Max and the meet and greet all in one go. And I managed to get my trade knocked out and everything I wanted to. So I will talk to you guys on the flip. A toodaroo.